Tom, thanks very much. Although it was unseasonably warm today, it is still winter, and that means cold and flu season is still upon us. But influenza isn't the only illness plaguing the basin. CBS 7's Stephanie Bennett joins us now live in the studio and reveals another ailment going around that you may not know about. Stephanie? That's right, Jay. Flu season is here, and it's a topic that Dr. Sudeep Bose knows all too well. But while many of his patients have respiratory and flu like symptoms, that doesn't always mean they actually have the flu. Last Saturday and Sunday, uh, and part of Monday, I, I was sick myself. My son has been sick for almost two weeks. How do you know when it's time to visit the doctor? You know, our goal here is to figure out which ones are the ones that are more serious. Dr. Bose says a lot of the symptoms overlap, but the good news is most of these illnesses don't necessarily need to go to the emergency room. Usually, a visit to urgent care and primary doctors will do. A lot of times, it's what our grandmothers told us: is just sleep and have some soup and rest and get fluids, and that's the best treatment. But it can be a different story for infants and toddlers. My little niece, she's had uh, RSV twice already in this year. It's really fast for them to get sick of just going, like, she got ready, like, she was healthy again. And just being out there in the public again, she got sick. Respiratory syncytial virus can actually kill babies. RSV affects the infants more aggressively because it goes deeper into the lungs. But can easily be confused with a common cold. They're all different entities. And, you know, we have to distinguish between those. For instance, antibiotics don't work on viruses, including RSV. Most of the time, you can help your baby fight off the virus by simply managing the symptoms. You just look at your child. Anything that needs to go to the emergency room, you probably won't miss. Dr. Bose says, most importantly, don't overreact and panic. Just listen to your body. Rest, sleep, and hydration will do wonders, and most of the time, you and your baby can shake off that bug. Live in the studio, Stephanie Bennett, CBS 7 News. Stephanie, thanks. Here's how you know if your child's RSV, RSV is severe enough for a trip to the emergency room. If your child turns blue or stops breathing for 10 to 20 seconds at a time, is breathing rapidly, flares or widens their nose in an effort to breathe better, and, and you could even see retractions in their ribs. As for the flu, the best time to get a flu shot is around October when flu season begins. If you get one now, it won't help you for very long. Healthy people are still urged to get the shot. If you do catch the flu, it will be less severe.